All right. Didn't have a guy to offload it to. All right. So, welcome to Canada versus the United States Eagles. And today, we're previewing the match up north. Welcome to uh, Canada Hate Fortnite, I think. Or is it like two weeks? Canada Hate two weeks. Uh -huh. um, love y'all up north. Ball in my heart. Um, shout out to Scott Stewart, coach of UCLA, for the, for the wonderful jersey. All right. So let's go over the match against uh, uh, Georgia for the United States. Uh, it was sort of ugly. I didn't really like the selections overall in the forwards, as you know from last week's preview. And, uh, you know, after all that, we played like trash in the first half. Like, horrible. I don't understand the point of that. Like, those cross kicks were garbage. Ugh. And you know what? We still beat the spread. Spread was six and a half on Bovada in the morning. Uh, they have a forward pack of... They had a forward pack of dudes, you know, in the top 14. Their backs, eh, I don't know. Maybe our guys could go over there and light it up in the top 14 or not. But skill-wise, we, we could have been there, you know. Um, AJ, I don't know what it was, had like seven knocks. Oof, it was it was an ugly game. I, I do not understand like some of those decisions at all. So, uh, Canada lost another match. Uh, this time it was in much better weather. And, well, Anscombe was sort of pissed off. I, I, I don't really know why, you know. You, uh, you tackle a guy in the air like that, you're going to get a card, okay? That's going to happen. Like, you can't do that. As soon as it, you saw in the Georgia game uh, for USA, Mikey Teo jumped up pretty high to catch the ball. Once It's basically a fair catch when a guy goes into the air to catch. So, you can't have a hit while he's in the air. Um, fair catch is a football term, but I'm guessing it's the same. So, you basically, uh, when the ball's high up and you're trying to catch it, you can mark uh, and not jump. But when, as soon as you jump, that you're, you're marking up. So, let's go into the Canadian side. And, man, is there some controversy. I do a lot of reading on this. All right. So... At loose head, we've got Justus Sears Duro. Um, he uh, started at loose head for Ca Canada against Georgia, and that was an ugly match. So, Ray Barkwell comes back from his start against Romania. He was on the bench for the Georgia match. Um, Jake Ilnicki, he plays for Northampton Saints. Uh, he started last week against Romania. At tight head, at uh, left lock, uh, Brett Bukebaum, Bokebaum, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that, uh, comes back this week and he will, at four, he will captain the side for Canada. Uh, Evan Olmstead uh, at right lock, number five, uh, he plays for Newcastle. Interesting. Him and Nick Savetta are playing the same position. I did not look to see if they played the same position. For Newcastle, I'm gonna say no. Um, uh, Admir Sedjanovic. Um, okay, at uh, blindside flanker. At open side flanker is Matt Heaton. At number eight is Tyler Ardrin. He plays for the Ospreys. Dur against Romania, he started at blindside flanker. Um, Phil Mack, who was on the bench against Romania, uh, starts at scrum half. Shane O'Leary starts at fly half. Connor Braid starts at inside center. Daniel TH, otherwise known as DTH. Vander Merwey, who played for the Scarlets earlier this year and then finished with Newcastle, uh, makes his first start at Outside center in four years. He's normally a right winger. 
All right. Um, at left wing, we've got Taylor Paris. He plays for Cast Olympique. At 14, we've got Andrew Coe, right wing. And then at fullback, number 15, we've got Kieran Hearn. He plays for the London Irish. Uh, I'll get into some of the questions uh, about their lineup in a minute. Uh, ben P. Farrow, he's a hooker. He's on the bench at 16. 17 is Anthony Luca, started against Romania. A loose, a loose head. At Matt Tierney, played for uh, Section Paloise. Uh, tight head, uh, started at, against Romania. So uh, the three uh, front row guys, uh, start, uh, P. Farrow started hooker against uh, Georgia, so they, this summer they've, all, all three of those guys started, so, not really seeing anything queer about the front row, other than some guys not holding on to their positions. Um, wondering why Anthony Luca didn't, but uh, Justice also, like I said, started against uh, Georgia. At uh, 19, flanker. Uh, is Kyle Bailey. Uh, he plays for London Scottish. He can also play eight. Uh, Aaron Carpenter, 20. Flanker. can also play eight, I think. Plays for Doncaster Knights. And he started against Romania. Not sure why he's not in. Because uh, he started at eight man against Romania. 21, Gord McRory. He started against Romania at scrum half. Uh, 22 Nick Blevins and 23 Dan Moore so we've got a split of five forwards and three backs in, on the bench uh, questions were uh, Phil Mack probably should be an impact sub off the bench and uh, Gordon McRory would be like your 80 minute guy there come out uh, probably at 50 or 60 minutes instead, and Phil Mack would just be able to come in here and light it up for 20 minutes. Um, some some of you guys don't like Ray Barkwell. I don't I don't I don't really know him that well, so I can't really talk about him. Um, at six, uh, Admir Sevjanovic uh, starting ahead of Bailey or Carpenter seems to be a weird selection. Um, I don't know him, but I know that uh, both Bailey and Carpenter are professional loose forwards, so that's kind of weird. All right. Um, and then the really weird one is uh, DTH Vanna Merwin. Anscombe, what are you doing starting a professional winger at outside center? Like, his first start at outside center in four years. Are you insane? Um, and then reading some stuff. I guess the preference would be uh, to push Kieran Hearn to outside center, uh, Van der to right winger at 14, and then move Andrew Coe to fullback. Um, so that gives you uh, Canada uh, for the first match in the Can-Am series of World Cup qualifiers. So let's get into the Eagles. All right, so I, I have a bunch of criticism on this one. So at loose head, we've got Tony Purpura. At hooker, we've got James Hilterbrand. At three, tight head, we've got Patty Ryan. Uh, at four, Ben Landry makes a start. Uh, at five, lock, we've got Nick Savetta. Starting at six, and captain, we've got Todd Clever. At seven, we've got John Quill. That's the uh, open side flanker. At eight, man, we've got Cam Dolan. I don't really like this selection. At scrum half, uh, Nate Augsburger makes an appearance over Sean Davies. Uh, AJ moving back into his natural position of fly half at number 10. At 12, we've got 
uh, Marcel, Rocky, Brage, I think it's Brage. Don't shoot me. Marcel, you can tweet me at the Strobro and tell me how to pronounce your name phonetically. All right? Get after it. Uh, at 13, we've got Bryce Campbell for outside center. At left wing, we've got Matai Leota. I loved watching him play last week. He played great. At 14, we've got right wing, we've got Ryan Matias. My name is Ryan Matias. You kill my father. Prepare to die. Straight out of Princess Bride. That hair, I, I wish, man. Give me some of that. Uh, and at fullback, we've got Mikey Teo. Personally, um, Mikey Teo at fullback is better for me than at wing. I don't like him at wing. Uh, he just, at fullback, he gets all over the field, which is great. I wish he would stay back about 25% more of the time to be, you know, that like free safety, strong safety type of guy. But at fullback, it gives him the ability to move around a ton. And, you know, at fullback, he's like always in the right position. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, at 16, Reserve hooker, we've got Peter Malcolm at 17. Loose head, reserve, he started against Ireland, is Ben Tarr. At 18, we've got Dino Waldron. That is tight head. Uh, it looks with those three selections that I think he's going to, Mitchell is going to just cut it at like 30, 30, at, you know, 30 minutes left and replace the whole front row. I am not sure. Um, at 19, we've got Matt Jensen. At 20, we've got David Tamalau. He can play the 6 or the 7. Uh, at 21, Andrew Durotalo can play the 8. I don't, I don't know if he'll be put in the back, though. Uh, as, at 22, Sean Davies, he'll move in for Nate at some point. And uh, Ben Sima will probably move in either to the centers or... Or to fullback in the second half. Um, Duratalo can play in the backs, but he's naturally an eight man. Um, interesting. I just uh, I, I don't really understand some of these selections. Uh, I. Uh, Tony Perpura and Chris Bowman uh, took a lot of penalties against uh, Georgia last week. Well, they took a bunch of penalties against Ireland, but they didn't draw cards. Chris Bowman drew a card last week, so I, I, I don't think he needs to be on the field. So I'm really good with Patty Ryan's selection. Tony Perpura makes me think that uh, Big Joe, Mighty Joe, is injured. Um, we don't really have a crazy injury report system like the NFL does in rugby. It would be nice because as a premiership-level hooker, uh, I want him on the field at hooker, really. Uh, I mean, I don't really want him there at loose head, but if that's what, where he needs to be because our depth at loose head isn't that good, then that's where he needs to be. And if he... If, if Big Joe's not on the field at hooker, he needs to be there at loose head based on who our loose heads are right now. Um, some guys are like, Todd Clever, why is he still on the team? Blah, blah, blah. Guess what? As you saw last week, he can play 80 minutes. Todd can play 80 minutes and captain the side. He brings an intensity that is so much different to what the other guys bring right now. That's why he's starting and that's why he's the captain. Uh, if Blaine Scully were here, he'd probably, you know, not have to be take that role as much because it's, you know, slowly transitioned to his team under Mitchell Rain as uh, Todd has gone into the twilight of his career. Uh, Todd is now the international male international athlete on the board. Uh, John Quill moves over from the six uh, in the first match against Ireland to. The seven, of course, so we see that. Uh, Matt Jensen was definitely an impact sub last week. He scored a try. 
Uh, man, he, he can... If you give him a beeline, he can book. Uh, David Tamalau, I think he could have started at 7 this week. And then same with Andrew Durotalo. Uh, it looks like, I think, just uh, Cam Dolan is healthy and he's the, the first, you know, the first selection. But Durotalo and he are definitely head and head in, in many eyes. Uh, the one that I really don't understand, though, what what has Sean Davies got to do to start at, at scrum half? What does he got to do? Like, what he brings to the table, I mean, you know, if you read Clifton's column, this guy has won at every level. But it's not, even, it's not even about winning at every level, in my eyes. If you look at when he came in, against Ireland. Look at the way the tempo and the offense moved. It was just so much faster. He was always where he was supposed to be, where sometimes Nate's not where he's supposed to be. Um, so I really don't understand why he isn't starting. Makes, it just... This lineup makes me think either we're, we're just trying to see where we're going to be. Uh, to be honest, we shouldn't lose. In fact, we should like beat them by like five or seven. A try or trying to convert. Um, they played really bad. Canada played really, really bad against Georgia and played pretty poor against Romania. And although we played like crap against Georgia, we only lost by four points. So there's that. Um, it makes me think that. Uh, if we lose the match on Saturday, Mitchell's just going to throw the kitchen sink at uh, Canada when we play him in San Diego. Or there's a bunch of injuries that they're just not telling us about. So there it is. Uh, I haven't seen the line. I should probably look it up. But given the fact that Georgia beat... Canada by 12, and we put a drubbing on Canada during the ARC, and then we played like crap against Georgia, but only lost by four. I'm going to say USA by a try, but I'm going to say it doesn't look close, just like during the ARC. So that's my take and preview on the first in the Can-Am series. It is uh, up north, so catch it on the Rugby Channel if you're down here. Or on TSN if you're up there. It is at, uh, what was it, 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific on Saturday the uh, 24th.